Hey guys, it's Ian Mason with Web Hosting Break, and today I'm going to buy high page hosting, but the point of the video isn't to show you how to buy something, because I'm pretty sure you know how to buy hosting, if not anything else. Um, so uh, I'm not going to help you with that, but the reason I'm going to make this video today um, is just to show you some things that you'll see after you've done the main part of buying it, like some upsells, so to speak, uh, some extra options you can add to your account. And there's some that you might want, and there's others that I can't really personally recommend because, you know, I wouldn't take those options. So I just want to maybe save you some money and, um, you know, do this, this little walkthrough so you know uh, what you need and what you don't need, in my opinion. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click sign up now. All right, so if you don't have a site yet, then you're going to want to select the default one, register a new domain, and then just type your domain name in here, and they'll register it for you. Uh, with iPage, the first year is free, um, unless they change it and make it free for life, uh, which is, you know, after I've made this video. A lot of hosts are doing that lately, so, um, you know, they're competing with each other. It's nice for us, lowers the prices, and we get cool deals, whatever. So... Again, uh, if you're registering a new domain, put it in there, and they'll take care of that for you. Or if you're like my situation uh, right now, where you want to transfer an existing domain, I'm going to use WHB, like web hosting break, demo.com. I'll type that in there. All right, so I fill out the form with my information that I would like to keep secret from everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to blur it out real quick. Um, so now... Uh, I thought it was 350 per month before for 12 months, um, but it looks like they've done what Just Host does and they've upped the price. So it's 350 per month for 36 months, 550 a month for 12 months. Even though it costs more, it's still dirt cheap to me. And you know that's 550 a month versus what like 99 dollars, 200 dollars, depending on what kind of server you get for dedicated hosting. Uh, so it's a pretty good deal if you're just starting out online and um, you're going to have a small website, even an e-commerce website for your online business, anything like that. You're good to go and uh, you can use WordPress um, and like I said, shopping carts and stuff like that. So I don't know why I keep selecting this stuff. Maybe I'm attracted to the word free. <laughs> That's interesting psychology because I, I keep watching myself doing that. Included free, included free, but I wasn't really thinking about it. That's funny. Well, everybody has a free setup fee. Shared hosting should always be free setup. <laughs> Dedicated hosting is usually free too. So, just marketing there. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk smack about them as a company. I really respect that they are able to take care of so many customers well um, while being such a big company. So, uh, yeah, that's why they're one of the. Actually, yeah, I think they're the second largest besides GoDaddy. Um. All right, so website essentials. <laughs> wow, I just ranted for a long time. Website essentials. Uh, prevent identity theft and secure your data. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what that, that really means. That sounds more like a personal computer application. Uh, I've never bought an add-on like that on any of my dedicated servers um, or any of my VPS or shared. Uh, I. If I knew more about it, maybe I could recommend it, but I seriously, I don't know what, what this is. So uh, I'm not going to really select that. Get a jump start on your website. Don't wait till your site is built to get online. We'll launch your email and temporary web page while you work on your site. That doesn't, that doesn't matter. You're not going to need that. Uh, all right, D directory listing for $1 a month. Reach thousands of potential customers. Add your site to our directory and get a listing. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, directory listing, you know, that could get you some, like a little bit of link juice, a good SEO value. So at $1 a month, I would try it, you know. It's it's always nice to get a, that first link to your site. Defend your inbox, premium spam filter. Um, I've never had a successful spam filter on my personal email, for example, so I just don't really care. I'm used to it. I'm used to all that Viagra stuff showing up in there, pharmacy stuff. So, um, and I don't really, if I'm 
getting a website, I'm not really going to switch away from my Gmail address. One reason you don't really want to use the mail system on any website, not just iPage or any of the other hosts, but even on your own dedicated server, is because deliverability is usually really bad if it's from your own server. Because spammers screwed everything up for everybody. So Yahoo, AOL, Comcast, all those providers, they really have to try to protect us by blocking um, IP addresses of servers that they don't recognize as being on their whitelist. So if you just start your website on any shared hosting or even a big expensive dedicated server or cloud or anything, your mail server you know, is going to be mailing from that unrecognized, unwhitelisted IP address. And it's probably going to go to people's spam boxes on Yahoo, Gmail, and other stuff like that. So um, that's one thing to be wary of. Uh, I, I personally don't really use the email systems on my servers much uh, but yeah if you hate spam I guess you can check that <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone uh, automate your site backup for 1295 a year that is essential that's the one option on here that I would definitely definitely choose so I'm gonna leave that selected and drive traffic to your site um, submit your site to business directories and top search engines with some okay submitting to search engines is not you know, that's not going to help. It's kind of a waste of time for the most part. I mean, it can help maybe help help you get indexed if you ping um, a search engine like Google. But if you're using WordPress, like I really recommend, then the first post you make, it's going to ping um, a ping service, which will let Google and a bunch of other places know about your site. So uh, as long as you're going to use WordPress for your site, then I don't see the need to select this option right here. All right, so total purchase, 90 bucks. I'm gonna click checkout. All right, so we got some last minute offers here. Get listed on local Google searches. That can be helpful if you actually have a local business and you can put an address in there and uh, you'll show up, as you can see right there in this little screenshot um, in the Google local listings. Oh, I'm running out of time here. I got 10 minutes for YouTube. Get website traffic from search engines. Um, I would say you can do this on your own. There's a lot of tutorials on web hosting break on how to do that really well. So leave that option. Uh, protect your customer transactions. Yeah, if you want to take credit card payments, you'll definitely need this SSL certificate. Email marketing. Uh, I recommend iContact or Aweber as good providers. Premium support, just $4.95 a month. Um, yeah. Get quicker response, the most experienced agents, and a unique toll-free number with U.S.-based custom or U.S.-based premium support. I definitely recommend that. It's for four ninety-five a month. Um, you know, with with so many so many people, um, it's maybe it's hard to give the the best support that they can to everybody. So um, I can see why they make that an option. Um, I don't really like having to upgrade my account for more support, but at this level of hosting, shared hosting, you're going to need to do that. So I'll go ahead and add these. All right, so the order was successful and the account will be set up. All right, cool. So iPage just sent me the email showing the activation of my account a couple minutes ago. And I'm going to go ahead and log into the control panel. All right, we're in the control panel for the iPage account now. And if memory serves me right, the thing we want is down here, yes. Scripting and add-ons. We're gonna to go to install central, because check this out. This is what the site looks like right now. We don't want that. What's that? Let's fix that <laughs> right now. All right, so go to install central, and then we're gonna to go to blogs, WordPress, and then begin installation. We're gonna fill this stuff out real quick. Okay, I filled the stuff out and left all of this down here, like create a database for me automatically. Leave all that stuff how it is. Click install now. Yes, great success. Let's check it out. All right, awesome. So our WordPress site is fully set up now. And just a quick note, I do want you to know that you don't have to use iPage hosting in order to get this one-click WordPress set up or two clicks or however many it is. Just a really easy setup where you don't have to go in to edit the database and all that stuff. Um, there are plenty of hosting companies that offer that. Any good quality shared hosting or VPS or dedicated hosting company will offer that. All right, we'll check out the other tutorials on web uh, on WordPress on web hosting break and um, 
let me know the stuff you come up with. Uh, you know, if you don't mind sharing, I'd love to see your sites and what you're doing with them. Uh, it always makes me happy uh, to see what people are doing with the information I'm sharing. So uh, enjoy the tutorials and have a good day. Peace.